Hello and welcome back. I don't think restarting the um, capture card has actually remedied it, but it has made it a little bit less. There's always going to be a delay, but it seems like it's a little bit higher than it should be, but... Whatever. It should be alright. Um, there's numerous things on this here Meehan High Road, or however it's pronounced. I believe it's Meehan. One is this guy who has a marvelous voice actor. I don't know who it is, but it's great. This is a statue of Lord Meehan. Indeed. Eight centuries ago, he founded a legion known today as the Crusaders. In just a few short years after their founding, their ranks grew throughout Spira. The maesters of Yevon feared an uprising and accused them of rebellion. So Lord Meehan walked along this very road to go face their charges and refute them. He succeeded in winning the Maester's trust, and his legion became an arm of the Yevin clergy. It was then that Yevin gave them the name Crusaders, which they have kept ever since. And the rest is history. Hit the microphone meter there. You don't, don't need to push me out of the way, dude. There are random encounters on this, uh... And a tutorial. On this place. That one looks slow. It's also tough. Let me handle this. No way! I can take it. He's lying. He can't. It's armored. You need piercing to hit it. What the? <laughs> I actually lied. These are his specialty. The um the bigger guys are just a thing he can deal with fairly well, but these are the ones that are what his specialty are is oh, things. The, Sir Arn's the best. <laughs> I could have done. A better sword, probably. I mean, look at his sword, man. Yours is made of water. He's got that thing. We can't compete with that. Power sphere, though. That's pretty useful. Make sure you talk to um, people along the road as you go. I think I may have already missed one. Because I was talking to that guy back there. But make sure you talk to people as you go along the road because they will give you items. Some old city? Correct. A city most ancient. A terrible testament to sin's power. I tremble every time I see them. Compared to sin, humans are mere mud puppies. But I believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating sin. A good reply. I am relieved to hear you say that, Milady Samana. Oh? Where are my manners? I am matron, a scholar, at your service, Milady. I am on a journey, studying the history of our world, Spira, seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. I love that guy's voice actor, it's great. I believe there is a treasure back here containing a weapon that I will presumably not use. There it is. I think it's a spear. Yeah, ice brand. I probably won't use it, but it might be handy for enemies that have ice weakness or something along those lines. Best to keep a weapon as a weakness of everything along the way. I hate bombs in this game, by the way. Um, Just wait. Go ahead and start giving everyone experience when applicable, if possible anyway, so Auron is next. It's going to be a whole lot of this, as I've mentioned previously in battles. It's going to be a whole lot of people doing nothing, and then bringing someone else in to do something, basically. So, Once you hit these three times, they will explode. They're bombs. It's general, generally how every Final Fantasy bomb works. So you want to hit them as few times as possible, obviously, to keep them from exploding on you. They get quite large in this game, too. It's kind of cool. And they usually, you might have noticed, they will usually uh, learn additional skills or abilities as they increase in size. So this one learns fire. I believe it learns fire anyway. Don't do anything, please, because you'll make it explode. Before we get to the next, um, well actually, two bosses down the road, I think. Before we get there, I would like to have Lulu know second level magic. Why is there a bit 
on the map that you can actually like go over there or something. It's a bit weird. Chocobos! Lady Summoner, I presume. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Lucille, captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. And I'm Alma. We've been charged to guard the high road. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with a taste for chocobos. Do take care, Samani Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Thank you. We will be careful. Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. Our prayers are with you. A large fiend? Hmm. Let's go get him! Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> What'd I say now? Jekt said that a lot, too. <laughs> and every time he said it, it meant trouble for Braska and me. <laughs> You might have noticed, or be able to notice, there's a woman in the background there. Before we do that... A hunter spear, thank you. Before we do that, I want to get a um, Yuna or an Overdrive. Probably an Overdrive in this case. Well, or sorry, an Aeon. I want to get Yuna or an Aeon to have an Overdrive, is what I meant to say there, but I got horribly confused by everything. Everyone in this party is so slow. Kamari! She's confused. I forgot that thing causes confusion. I wish it didn't. A camera angle. Thankfully, she's... never mind. I was gonna say, decided to hit herself, but she missed, so... Feel free to ignore me, then. Make way! I'm not entirely sure the easiest way to get Yuna an overdrive. Um... I mean, I think she has the one where she gets it if she hits things? I don't think you can assume that. Can you? I wonder. Let's figure it out. Light shine strong. Our world it's a lot better when she gets the one where you get overdrive for healing people, but we don't have that, so she's technically already active. Move, walk in. So I think the best way would just be do a bunch of battles until she gets hit a bunch of times. I'm on a roll! I think that may be what we actually end up doing here. Speed Sphere, that's pretty useful. Um, and the reason I want an Overdrive is because this is an Aeon fight. It's a summoner fight. Uh, there's numerous of them throughout the game. I would like to win all of them because they give nice items. You don't have to win all of them, but it would be nice if I could. I'm actually going to leave Yuna in the fight the whole time. Maybe, hopefully, she'll get hit or something at some point. So she can just chill there for now and we'll swap other people out instead. Please hit Yuna. For the love of God, just hit Yuna. That's all I'm asking of you. Maybe I should look at her um, overdrive state so maybe she can get a different one, but I don't think she can. I don't actually remember what's required to unlock the different ones, so I'm probably going to have to look that up at some point. Please hit it, Yuna. It's not Yuna. Stop hitting Orin. The dude's done nothing to, de to deserve this. They're never gonna hit Yuna. We'll be here for ages trying to get this done. I could hit Yuna. That would give her some overdrive. And then just use potions to heal her. I might employ that strategy. We'll move over here just so we're close to her. Two of these! Can't ever hit herself. Probably can't hit herself. The optimal method here would be for her to be attacked and them to miss, Waka's basically. Back on the field. Indeed, he is. Good job, Waka. Like that. That'd be great. Can you even hit yourself? Is, is that a thing you can do? Did that give her overdrive? I don't know. I don't think it did. You only get, Back in the I don't fray. know. Do you only get it for enemies hurting you? Do you only get it for damaging enemies? 
Well, she got some there, so... Quick, hit it! She got nothing. Nothing out of that. Let's check her overdrive stat. Her, um, status, setting, whatever it is. So, overdrive, Yuna, mode, stoic. Charges when character takes damage. That's what everyone's is. Sadly, that's not the button I meant to hit. hit to hit. To hit, hit, hit. So that kind of sucks. Let's use a few of these potions. I got so many of the stupid things. And... I just had to do it the slow way, I suppose. I don't actually know how much her Ifrit has in terms of hit points. Hey, really, I'm that's it? Now, so just this out. one dude. And of course, he attacks the wrong thing, but hey. Good job, Yuna. Well played. I don't even know why I'm bothering to swap people out for this fight. There's, n there's not really any experience to be gained from this. And of course, he attacks the wrong person. Good job, Yuna. Well played. I was about to say I'd be surprised if he hits that. It was looking like he might, but no. See ya. I like that uh, Humphrey here. Right. Titus. Titus. Whatever you want to call the dude. I like how he can overkill those. That's pretty nice. Pretty handy. What is her overdrive at? Nowhere near full. Um, you know what? Oh, but it's it's a pretty good ring for winning. You know what? We'll just do it. Whatever. Uh, uh, I accidentally skipped that. Sorry. My name is Belgamina. You are. My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours? A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? You can fight or you can pass. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. We'll see if we can I'll manage. Good. Before she heal you, by the way. Pretty handy. Your aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Come. It'd actually probably be easier to get the aeons overdrive rather than Yuna's, but whatever. Here's Ifrit's summoning, by the way. Basically none, but okay. We'll summon Moomin. Have at ye, Moomin. Should, like, learn how to do a crappy British accent so I can make crappy British jokes while I can summon Moomin. So he's immune to, uh, despite what it says, he's immune to Sonic Wings? Actually, yeah, it doesn't say anything. His uh, timer doesn't change. It does give us two turns in a row, though. Um, otherwise, we can cast Blizzard. Does it give him two turns in a row at any point? That just shifts us up one, so let's do that. It's also immune to sensor. That black bar over him is his overdrive bar. Bear that in mind, because he will murder you if that fills up. He's very fond of doing so as well. It's a specific attack pattern. I'm not I don't remember exactly what it is. Indeed. Ours is quite weak. We're unlikely to win this fight, actually, considering how much damage it just did. So it alternates between attack and meteor strike, thank you for telling me. So after attack, we need to go do shield, otherwise it'll kill us. Because it'll use its special, which for Ifrit is meteor strike, which is just a high damage hit. And then hit. I should have cast blizzard on it, but as a crit, so it was actually better to do that. And a miss. Lucky, 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 lucky. Shield, however, stops your overdrive from filling, so it has its downside. You need to use it in this fight, though. If you can't, if you don't use it in this fight, he'll kill you much too quickly. Um, how much does Blizzard do? I didn't see last time. 
295. Yeah, crit's better. Otherwise, Blizzard is better. We may win this. It really depends. We can take... Like, two more... One more attack and a Meteor Strike. And then we'll be pretty low on health. Let's just keep doing the Bright Magic since we have the MP. And it hits for more than a standard attack. Now, he actually missed. His next attack is... He's gonna get three in a row anyway. His next attack is... Meteor Strike? So it might actually be better to shield here. Because he, if we do it now, he'll get two Meteor Strikes. If we do it after this, he'll get two attacks and a Meteor Strike, which has a much higher chance of surviving. But I don't know, like, is this going to kill him? Probably not. If I had Energy Blast, it probably would. Really, we're relying on dodging at this point, because he will probably kill us. Yeah, he will kill us if we don't dodge both of the attacks, I think. So hopefully this kills him. Nope. Dodged one. Here comes the Meteor Strike, which you can dodge. Albeit unlikely. And dead. So we lost that fight. Ah well. If you win the fight, you get an Echo Ring. If you lose the fight, she gives you a Seeker Ring. Obviously the Echo Ring is much more useful than the Seeker Ring, but whatever. Oh, you have a lot to learn. Shush, woman. You get nothing else from it. So those are just um, special item training. fight things. But you did well. Thank you. You show promise. With more training, you could defeat Sin. Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. I cannot. Huh? Or should I say I was not able to? You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. What I should have actually done there, and I forgot and didn't do it, but what I should have done is... Uh, kept going until I was to the point where one more attack would kill me and then use the overdrive. He was probably pretty close to death, but again, you know, don't I don't know. Bones, old man. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, old man. Our friend Humphrey has his overdrive though, so there's that. May as well use it, since the more we use it, the more he gets. And it hits for decent damage, so there's no harm in letting him hit the thing. I say decent damage, and then it does the most damage we possibly could on a single target. Hooray! You, Kamadi. We should actually um, lance it, which is going to make it grow. Hopefully it doesn't kill it, actually. Because now Kamadi knows self-destruct, so we can sacrifice Kamari on a boss or something like that, which, you know, not the most logical thing to do in the world, but hey. No worries! All of the worries. I thought I was about to self-destruct there, but we're fine. Humphrey's almost dead, but he'll be fine. We'll use a uh, cure on him outside of battle. Which is a thing you can do, although it's kind of cumbersome. You can still do it. That's the important part. Lulu's overdrive, by the way, I suck at. Pretty much par for the course at this point. So let's get the abilities. Yuna, cure... Just him. Everyone else is fine. Onward! For great justice. There are three um, Albed Primers in this and the upcoming area. Which are, for whatever reason, in the guide listed as one place, but they are two separate places. You following me, woman? That... I was, uh, I was trying to talk to her, but I guess we'll get a random encounter with three of these freaking things. That's a terrible fight, but at least we'll get triple overkill. He's got silence, apparently, which I hate. Um, attack one, see if we can hit it. Didn't kill it, so it was kind of null and void. Kind of glad we didn't, because I would have missed an overkill on that. Let me help. How about no? Ow. Um, Orin. Kamari is not going to get... Wish. Oh no, Kamari will get experience in this fight because Yuna goes before Titus for whatever reason. 
And last overkill. Hooray! Those must not have very much health. If 240 will overkill. 120 AP from that fight. We need to get that more often. And a katana. Probably exactly the same as the thing he already has, so hooray. Our prayers are with you. Indeed. Whatever floats your boat. My lady summoner. Hi. You're a summoner? Yes. My name is Yuna. I'm Callie. Nice to meet you, Callie. Lady Yuna, are you going to bring us the calm? Yes. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're looking forward to another calm, my lady summoner. I'll do my best. And good luck to your guardians as well. What's the calm? The calm is a time of peace. It comes after a summoner defeats Sin, and lasts until Sin reappears. Uh... Huh? Sin dies and is reborn. I get it! I thought it was weird. Yuna's dad defeated Sin ten years ago, right? But Sin's still here. Didn't make much sense till now. Wait, if it just comes back... Don't say it isn't worth it. Because it is. Even for a little while, people can sleep in their beds without being afraid. That kind of time is worth anything. Don't say it isn't worth it. Your words that day, Yuna, I remember them well. Do you really? Also, don't kick that. Well, you can kick that. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but you know. If you do kick it before we talk to that kid, he won't give you his softs, if I'm remembering correctly. Which come in handy a little bit later. I actually come in handy quite a lot throughout the game. Oh no, an ambush. Darn it. I hate ambushes because you take so much undue damage for no reasons whatsoever. Especially Aaron, who's being murdered at the moment. I'm glad you are not confused. You! Um. Guard. I should have swapped him out to Waka so Waka could kill that dude before he died. Instead, he is now dead. So, well done, me! Congratulations! Could have done that, and then he wouldn't have died, and then we would have been fine, and cast Blizzard, and blah blah blah. Let's just end this fight before someone else dies unnecessarily. You're Blizzard, so fire, right? Yes. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Flawless victory. Maybe. Not really. So, Titus is back. That's the thing this game does, is um, if you just leave the battle, people will come back at 1 HP, but they're still back, so you have to use a phoenix down on it. Which is handy, obviously. I believe there are three sections to this before we get to a boss fight. It's, I told you, it's a pretty long area. This looks familiar. So very familiar. And then after that, there's a whole bunch of sections, and then we're in another area that has a whole bunch of sections, and it's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. Waka! There's a lot of enemies here. You appear to have walked into a mound of dirt there, but whatever. We're hiding our people in the dirt. They'll never find us. Jeez, these things hurt, man. I can go ahead and guard, so you're not going to be doing anything. You're going to be casting Blizzard. I hope I hit the right target. Good. I didn't actually look at who I targeted, I just mashed the button. Things not to do, brought to you by Sleepy. So Aaron can swap to... Oh, free. 
He can do nothing, and then you can hit him and hopefully not die when this thing casts fire. Hopefully hit him. Uh, we can kill it. Who hasn't taken a turn? Kamari and Yuna. Both I would like to have experience. I believe they both haven't taken a turn, so... And it doesn't matter because we'll be able to swap someone else in for Luna- or sorry, Lulu. I keep saying Luna. Why? Is there another game that has Luna in it that I've played? I don't think so. I'm just combining Lulu and Luna for whatever reason. Raisin, for whatever reason. I'm sorry. I apologize. A red ring. Ooh. Pretty good, considering the bombs in this area cast fire all the time. I'm not gonna wear it, but, you know, could be useful. That encounter rate, by the way. Uh, okay, you cause sleep. It's good to know. You can wait. You can swap to... Orin, actually. To reduce the incoming damage, because that guy comes next. And the elemental, which I could have also killed, but... I probably should have killed that, actually. You can swap to Humphrey to kill this dude, to reduce incoming damage. Can't do anything with Kamari, so I'm actually just gonna swap Lulu in to finish it. Don't do that. Freaking cursors, man, they're everywhere. Skills all over the place. At least we're getting lots of spheres, which I will go to the sphere grid in a bit. I keep forgetting to talk to people. Four antidotes, nice. Um, I will go to the sphere grid eventually, don't freak out, it'll be fine. I generally tend to go, like, right before bosses, uh, to look at the sphere grid and level people up and stuff. It's probably not a bad idea to try and level people, excuse me, now, because this fight is so good for AP, I don't want to waste any of the overkills. Because we are actually getting pretty well beat on by the enemies in this place. So it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to do so. Humphrey's almost dead, too. Humphrey, why are you almost dead? Have a cure. And then promptly get hit again, so I'm kind of glad I cured you. Um, who hasn't gone? Waka? I, I need to keep track more often of... Or better, anyway, who, who hasn't gone. Doesn't matter. If I feel like grinding, I'll grind on my own time, which I probably will end up doing here and there. I, when I play Final Fantasy games, that's a lot of gil. I will grind a little tiny bit in every area that I go through. That'll keep me from having to do really major grinding towards the end of the game. But in this case, you know, I want to try the Dark Aeons. Probably going to be grinding anyway, so... Freaking Waka is slower than the enemy he's supposed to be killing. That's a bad sign. He does have his overdrive, which I'm also pretty bad at, so we may as well try and use it. So fire is the element I would like, the element of choice. Uh, that was a bad start. So it really doesn't matter at this point. In fact, I may as well try to get uh, thunder at this point. At least that way I can get triple and it'll hit everyone. If you get triple, it hits everyone. If you get uh, double or single, it just hits one. So he just single-handedly overkilled two things, which is probably better than the other variation. So you can swap to Kamari, and we'll try and get people swapped in, although... Ah, you can. Perfect. Because of Kamari's speed. Because blocking doesn't take very much time, or whatever. You can get people in and out pretty quickly. Fire. How do I function buttons? It's also a lot easier to get overdrives once we get the... Like, you get overdrive on damaging enemies one. Which is nice. We're almost at 10k gil. Quite a lot sooner than I actually need to be. Which is good. Um, you. That's really all that needs to be healed. If someone gets to 10 sphere levels, I'll go ahead and look at it. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. I thought they were going to talk now, but I have to walk up here first, past the magical floating wagon over here. Apparently, random encounter. Apparently, ambush. I hate this game. 
despite playing it for many, many hours when it released yesterday, but whatever. Leave me alone. Aaron, please don't die or get confused. Two turns. Bit fast there, aren't you, buddy? Stop that. Guys, we'll go ahead and have Aaron clear out his thing. Nice overkill. Probably could have had Lulu clear that out, but you know me and my min maxing that I don't do, but still. You notice um, Humphrey's sword there is actually water, but it's not elemental. That'll change eventually. It's quite the quite the thing when it does change, and it's also very annoying when it does change. But it's kind of useful for the area immediately after that. So. I suppose it's beneficial that they do it right then. Some of you will know what I'm on about, some of you might not know what I'm on about. Power, speed, mana, all of this is good. Let's head over here and talk to Doofus and Doofus McGee. Hello, Doofus. Hey, we saw the game! You guys were great! Congratulations, Waka. Hey, stop loafing around. Uh, uh, the Lady Summoner and her guardians. This mission requires our full attention. We've no time to waste. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Apologies, ma'am. Carry on. See, keep your head down, say sir a lot, and you'll do fine. Right, sir. <laughs> hey, Yuna. Even though Yevon rejected us, we still believe in you. That won't ever change. Thank you, Sir Luzu, Sir Gada. But, you know, it's not too late for you to go back to Besaid and... We should be going, sir. Nice magical floating wagon you got there, defying physics, having the rear end be high there. Be high, yes. Hello! A high potion, thank you. Let's actually, how's our health doing? Not too good. She's a couple potions. Ah, I overkilled that a little bit, but hey, potions. Hey, this fight is terrible. Actually tempted to summon. Let's summon Nagors. Sounds like a good idea to me, why not? There we go. Now, Agoras here, being elemental, has the ability to heal himself via fire. Um, but the other thing is also that this guy has the ability to heal us with his fire, so I'm gonna hit him so he grows so he can use fire. That should help keep Agoras alive a little teeny bit longer. Ow. Ow. What it's saying he's immune to, by the way, is the status ailment caused by their attack, which is confused, apparently. Good god, you're so slow compared to these dudes. I hope you hit. It's actually a really good fight for Gorge to get his uh, overdrive filled up, which is good. I approve. Because there's so little chance of him dying, especially at this point, we could probably keep it going uh, indefinitely, because that heals more than I take in damage. So... We're going to be sitting here a while. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, we're a little bit slow. There we go. Do a meteor strike on him, which should overkill. And we could use my overdrive. That camera there. But uh, instead, I'm actually going to go ahead and dismiss Agors here. He is done. There's nothing more for us to do at the moment. He's got his overdrive, and he's not going to be able to kill that bomb very easily. 
And we may as well try and get everyone else experience. I don't think anyone has acted except for technically Yuna, so shouldn't take too long. His bomb bombs are fairly no slow, problem. thankfully. It better be no problem, it's a freaking bomb. And Aurin is the last one. Sadly, no one's gonna get a turn in front of it. Wow, Humphrey, you're almost dead. What did I tell you about that? Lulu has her overdrive, so and I'm so god awful at it that I'm just gonna go ahead and use it anyway. What is it, left stick? I think it's left stick. Right stick! Oh god, I'm even worse at the right stick. I got six. And that counts as one hit, stacks the damage up and counts as one hit, so you can't overkill with that fairly easily. Good experience, good spheres. I like the spheres in that fight. Here's our friend, by the way, we'll be we'll seeing a lot of her. Any way we can. Indeed. But Yevon's teachings say. But there's a dude I want to talk to that's walking Enough. by. I, I I only meant to. Are you alright? <gasps> Lady Summoner? Yes, I am Yuna. It is an honor, my lady. My name is Shalinda. I am a disciple of Yevon. What was all that about? The Crusaders operation? <sighs> you mean the one Gata and Luzu were talking about? Mm. I heard they were to use forbidden machina. I had to stop them. Huh? Why? The use of machina is strictly forbidden by the Yevon priesthood. That's bad, yeah? Let them use whatever they want. They still won't defeat Sin. But it's not about defeating Sin. The teachings of Yevon must be upheld. Yeah, right. But you don't understand. The Crusaders won't even listen to me. And it's all because I'm just a lowly acolyte. Don't say that. <sighs> well, I haven't been a summoner for very long myself, you see. Still, I can't put myself down every time I fail. People are depending on me. They're depending on both of us. Yes. Yes, you're right, my lady. Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lady Yuna. Now, I feel I have the courage to finish my training. As she goes right back to talking to someone else. 600 gil! Hooray! There's also... I should probably uh, heal up real quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and top everyone off. Even though it's probably unnecessary, but... We'll get a uh, restore on HP and MP soon anyway. In fact, I think it may be after this area. May have done something incredibly silly, but whatever. Yep, it's this area. We rest here. Indeed. But this isn't our bed shop. Is that a problem? They, they don't believe in Yevon, and in Luca they... They kidnapped Yuna. Where were her guardians? Oh. Sir Oren's just concerned about your health. I'm not tired one bit. Well, I am. Now it's Aaron running the show rather than Lulu, and I believe we get a save point here. Hopefully, anyway. If we don't, there should be one in the shop, as there often is. There is. As if I could sleep. Indeed. Uh, before we actually know, we'll go ahead and save it, end it here. I was gonna say before we do anything, let's go ahead and get the Albed primer, but nope, it'll be fine. We'll get it next time. It's impossible to miss anyway. So, thanks for watching. Um, and things, and I'll see you guys next time.